Welcome to the Christian Stories channel. The word angel means messenger, one who brings a message. Angels are divine creatures created by God with different purposes, including serving humanity. Among the wide variety of angels and army of angelic soldiers, there is one named Metatron. He is no ordinary angel, but rather considered the king of seraphim. The seraphim are angels of worship and glorification of the Lord and have six wings. In reverence and holiness, they cover their faces with two wings and their feet with two others, and the other two wings serve to keep them in flight. Among the various types of angelic beings in paradise, such as seraphim, cherubim, archangels, and others, he is known to be above all, considered the most powerful angel of God. When looking for references to him in the Bible, one might be surprised not to find them. Although the name does not appear directly in the sacred scriptures, this mysterious figure may be present in biblical stories as Prince of Seraphim, Supreme Angel of Life and Death, or King of Angels. Metatron is a being of many names and origins, appearing both in Islamic and Christian traditions, as well as in Jewish tradition, more specifically in the mystical side of religion. References to the angel can be found in passages of the Babylonian Talmud, in the Book of Enoch, and even in occult currents. Due to his closeness to God, there are some controversies regarding his true role in paradise. In the Babylonian Talmud, a collection of stories and commentaries by the leaders of Judaism, there is a narrative that tells the story of a Jew named Elisha ben Abia, who was allowed to enter paradise even though he was not dead. There, he came across Metatron, a powerful being with an imposing stature of around 8-12 feet tall sitting with an appearance of shining light in white robes. Elisha, confused by the situation, thought that there were two gods in heaven, as only God would be allowed to sit there. He discovered that Metatron was a celestial scribe, writing deeds for Israel at that time, which explained his privileged position. However, to show that he was not God and that even an angel could receive punishment, Metatron received 60 blows with a fiery staff, with humility. Despite being below the Creator, Metatron remains important in heaven, as his name proves, which can be translated as closest to the throne. Being closer to the throne of God is a great honor and demonstrates Metatron's importance in heaven, considered the king of the seraphim and the supreme angel. Metatron is the divine mouthpiece and mediator between God and men, as well as being the divine scribe, universal guardian, and maintainer of the universe. He has 72 wings with 12 pairs of six and an uncountable number of eyes necessary to carry out his vast tasks of watching over humanity, including governing the things of creation on their behalf and guarding the clock of the universe. As a mediator, Metatron is not available to assist anyone who calls him in prayer, but acts as a guide to the angel chosen to deliver a message or perform an action in the world of the living. Unlike other angels, Metatron would not have been created directly in paradise but rather transformed into an angel after having an extremely relevant life on Earth. To explain its history, it is necessary Metatron. Briefly about Kabbalah. Kabbalah is an ancient school of thought within Judaism that is dedicated to the study of the occult sciences and the mystical side of religion. His studies encompass many topics, including God, the human being, life, death, and creation. The objective is to understand what is present in the Holy Book of Judaism. The Torah, since God would have codified the secrets of the universe in the work. Those interested in learning more about Kabbalah are advised to read the Zohar, the most famous book on Jewish mysticism. The Zohar is a work of fundamental importance to the school of thought and deals with heavenly beings, biblical characters, the nature of God, and many other subjects. It is in this book that followers of Kabbalah find guidance. Furthermore, we find in it the history of Metatron. Legend has it that, while he was in the world of the living, the angel was the prophet Enoch, father of Methuselah, one of the biblical figures who lived for the most years, 969 years, while Enoch did not exceed four centuries and was taken to heaven by none other than the Creator himself, by virtue of his wisdom and loyalty to God. Enoch walked with God and disappeared, for God took him with him. This event is described in the book of Genesis, chapter 5. Verse 24. According to Kabbalah, Enoch did not die, but was transported to paradise, where God granted him permission to continue his ministry eternally, not as Enoch, but as Metatron. 
According to another Kabbalah scholar, he claims that Enoch wrote a book with secrets of wisdom before he was taken by God and that, upon becoming Metatron, he was given heavenly secrets to share with those deemed worthy. Metatron is a mysterious angel and is called by some the angel of death and life. There are cases where he is confused with the angel of death. He has leadership skills in abundance and intervenes only in important matters. Furthermore, Metatron helps to create love vibrations for the universe. For some mystics, he is considered the teacher of Terra. The intriguing fact is that, after being transformed into an angel, Metatron became known as the Angel of the Covenant, the King of Angels and the link between God and men. He is also known as the Angel of the Lord. Metatron inhabits the seventh heaven, where God, the creator of the universe, dwells and can take the appearance of a pillar of fire. He is said to have guided the Hebrew people across the Red Sea. It is also said that Metatron was the angel who stopped Abraham from sacrificing Isaac. In addition, he is associated with the last plague that God launched in Egypt, which would have killed the firstborn of each family. When Jacob fought a man who represented the Lord, it was Metatron, the angel who struck him with a blow, causing his thigh joint to dislocate. Metatron is considered one of the few celestial beings who can look directly at the figure of God, and for this reason, Many scholars debate his importance in relation to Jesus Christ. Some believe that Metatron is as relevant as Jesus, as he fulfills the role of mediator between God and humanity, as described in the Bible. There are theories that suggest he is a corporeal form of the family of God. Some Christians even attribute the title, Messiah, to Metatron, as they believe the angel is part of God's soul. Still others believe that Metatron is the same person as Jesus Christ, only transfigured into an angel, for there is only one God and only one mediator between God and human beings. Jesus, these words are recorded in verse 5 of chapter 2 of 1 Timothy. Furthermore, Metatron's proximity to God's throne in heaven conflicts with Jesus' position. This is evidenced by the Bible itself, which on several occasions mentions that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Creator. For example, in the 19th verse of the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew, it is stated that the Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. It is believed that he also acts as a protector of children who died prematurely, transmitting God's love to those who did not have the opportunity to know him. However, some claim that this protective work is symbolic and that Metatron actually works with every human being, regardless of age, bringing healing to the inner child and eliminating envy and rancor that may be present in the heart. He is portrayed as a guardian of the tree of life, one of the most respected symbols of Kabbalah, which expresses God's creative energy throughout the universe and the divine characteristics present in every human being. The tree is usually represented by 10 spheres, symbolizing wisdom, compassion, beauty, renewal, kingdom, crown, understanding, justice, and victory. Metatron's history is even more enigmatic than one might imagine. According to historians, the angel would have created a cube known as Metatron's cube, which originated from within his soul. This cube is complemented by the flower of life, which is composed of 13 circles and each circle is connected to another by a single straight line, totaling 78 diagrams. The cube is a solid figure, and there are reports that Metatron's flow is a quantum accelerator in sacred geometry a natural technology capable of moving particles at very high speed and, consequently, altering the reality in which we live. This technology is available to all humanity that wants to make the quantum leap. According to the most knowledgeable, Metatron's cube can bring countless benefits to man, such as the cure of various diseases, emotional states and protection against demonic or satanic powers. It even provides the energy of higher dimensions of the universe. I would like to remind you that what has been said so far is based on beliefs and there is no scientific evidence about the existence of Metatron's cube or its effectiveness as an object of protection against demons and evil spirits. Remember, however, that faith is a very personal thing and everyone has their own religious beliefs and practices. And if you want to know more about angels, or even about Metrotone, I'll leave here in the description some books that talk about angels and the main book of Enoch where many stories about angels, demons, fallen angels, and seraphim come from. And if you have more information about Metatron, feel free to share it in the comments. See you soon.